hasn't been a, a long journey yet, but you guys have yeah. made some great moves. If you could talk to yourself at the beginning of that journey, basically, you know, what are the things you would do differently? What are some of the mistakes that you made and, and what would you diff- do differently the next time around? Holy cow. Um, I think I would, I would try and chase myself down with a stick. If I ever tried to sell a real piece of property again, I, uh, I look back of, of my deployment to Afghanistan in 2012 that I got home in 2013. I purchased a home just after that. And it's in, in Magna, Utah. And at the time I purchased a three bedroom, two bathroom house with an unfinished basement on a great little lot, had mature fruit trees, had everything. I purchased that house for $169,900. So I think after it was all said and done, closing costs was 172 grand. And I, I looked just before we jumped on, because that was one of the questions you, you gave me before. And I looked at the Zillow estimate house and it's $497,000 right now. And so it's actually decreased in value $12,000 in the last 30 days. So to go from 169,000 to selling it a couple of years later and, and making 20, 30,000 and thinking I made, I made, I made out like a bandit, you know, I thought I was, I was running and skipping away from the bank before they tell me they needed their money back. I look back at that now and, and the ways that I could have leveraged that is not only the, the equity I could have had in that house, but I could have refinanced that house two or three times at this point, finished the basement, really capitalized on that, and then had the rental income for the last nine years. I, I kicked myself. I don't think that I would, if I could go back right now, I would never, ever sell a real piece of property again. I don't think short of, short of, you know, I mean, some natural disasters or something major catastrophic happening. I, I think long-term, if you have the ability to hold on to it, I would never sell a house again. Hmm. 